Every superhero has their own nemesis. Let's see who is going to win. Previously on Troom Troom Wow. Megan and Thomas still have their superpowers. We have got to make them look presentable. Choose your suit, one that'll fit perfectly and that will emphasize your superpowers. Megan has a couple of interesting ideas for Thomas. It's original, but I think somebody has already had that uniform. We need something else. What if you tried that suit? Stylish and elegant, but Thomas doesn't like this one either. It's hard to please this superhero. Megan drew a stylish accessory for herself. Okay, I think I figured out what we should look like. Just a minute. What do you think of this? Thomas loves it. I look just like Quicksilver. His new suit is very stylish and it will be comfortable for teleporting from place to place. Megan came up with a super outfit for herself, too. She's not as picky as Thomas is. The main thing is that it's convenient to take out pencils. And she's always got paper. Here they are, the saviors of the world. But even superheroes get sick sometimes. Thomas must have caught a cold in his teleportation tunnels. Oof, saving the world will have to be postponed. And now he needs hot tea and cold compresses for the forehead. <laughs> but Thomas will get no rest with his cold. That's Sneezing that. attacks cause spontaneous teleportation. And you'll never guess where you are going. For example, now Thomas has invaded someone else's date. It's not nice to be disturbed at an intimate moment. He's also sneezing all over the place. Thomas should wear a mask. What was that? Maybe something got added to the tea? What do we have here? A video shoot? And it got Thomas to the epicenter of the creative process. Hey, get out of the frame! Don't expect a warm welcome. Thomas disappeared again. But you wouldn't surprise these guys like that. Anything can happen on set. Wait, this is too much. How can I get out of here? I'm freezing cold. I should take control of my superpowers. An empty street, a girl all by herself. It's the perfect place for a crime. The mugger's already in place. He's ready, he has a lot of experience. Fortunately, the crime has a witness. And Megan is already working on a plan to save the victim. What if instead of a knife, he had a banana? Who'd be scared of a fruit gangster? He needs to get out of here. It's clearly not his day. But he still took the purse. Megan's got a solution for that. She draws a trash can in his way. You can't run fast or you'll fall. That's what real superheroes do. The villain loses and the girl got her purse back. How's Thomas doing? He's still sneezing, poor guy. <laughs> Thomas wouldn't mind saving somebody either. Feeling like a superhero is so good. Probably. But so far, he hasn't had a single chance. What if this is it? At least serve Miss Green a bucket of water. She's been washing floors here for 20 years without vacation or weekends. But the bucket delivery didn't work out. Oh, what an awkward fall. You should practice your landings. And Thomas will get in trouble with the cleaning lady. You got the floor dirty and spilled water everywhere. That's terrible. Has this guy heard anything about safety rules when working high above the ground? No safety equipment. He'll probably fall soon. It's a good thing Megan's around. Yeah, that's what happened. The window washer is falling. You'll have to 
to work fast, you need to save him. A mattress would be fine. I hope I can make it in time. It's not a masterpiece, but still. Phew, it all ended safely. Looks like Megan has decided to break records on saving people. Superheroes don't skip classes. Thomas has been studying since early morning, but he wishes he could help somebody. Don't waste your superpowers. The teacher's pencil fell. You need to teleport quickly and get it up. And then there's the mistake. The teacher always has a spare pencil. You shouldn't have bothered. Well, his time will come too. Who just arrived at the college? A cold look, a confident smile. You can't expect anything good from this lady. There must be a reason for that. I'm sure her arrival has something to do with Megan and Thomas's superpowers. But even such sinister characters aren't immune to minor disturbances on the ground. And it's hard to keep a firm, frightening pace on a gravel path. And there are superheroes rushing for class. They are just exercising. The scary lady walks down the college hallway. Will she dare to walk on a floor that's just been washed? Of course! She doesn't seem to care about anything. But Miss Green doesn't give up that easily either. She can fight back. Better not mess with her. And the villain's walking around the college as if she owns it. Oh, there's the thing. This lady is really looking for Thomas and Megan. And in the end, she finds them. Honestly, they weren't even hiding. They had no idea they are being hunted. The villain introduces herself as their new teacher. This is a simple formality. You have to sign some forms for your classes. She really knows how to be believable. Megan and Thomas didn't suspect anything was off. Didn't their parents teach them not to sign strange contracts? And while the guys were distracted, the villain took action. Looks like she's taking the guy's superpowers. Looks creepy. Their abilities are in flasks. And while Megan and Thomas are out, she needs to get out of here. But college hallways can confuse even the most evil villain. Oh, not that way. That's where Miss Green is. She needs to hurry. The friends are waking up. I wish I could teleport quickly and catch the villain. But it's not working. Megan and Thomas realize their superpowers are gone. So the old-fashioned way is to run with your feet. It's a good thing the villain's driver's not the most responsible guy. He drove away from college and now he's wasting his time playing. The boss will have to wait a little while. And here's Megan and Thomas. The main thing is to catch up with her and find out what she did to their superpowers. It's not that simple. Every self-respecting villain carries a powerful laser. It's easy to fight off ordinary people with these weapons. Thomas, what do we do? Oh, lucky. Thomas still has a hand that lives its own life. Yeah, and there's a rope in the bag. How could he forget? Now it's a matter of technique. Approach her from behind and tie her up. Wow, she's fighting back. Megan wants to throw all her power at the villain. But she doesn't have her abilities. She's going to have to act without them. A slight blow to the head with a tube and it's done. You sit there and think about what you did. You should search her. Here are our superpowers. Let's go. What a stubborn villain! She woke up and caught up with them! Threats and curses! But what can she do against superheroes? Now you can just wipe her mouth off her portrait! It worked! Finally, silence! An epic final for any villain! She'll know better than messing with superheroes! And Miss Green is certainly not going to comfort that lady. 
It seems like Megan and Thomas aren't the only ones at this college with superpowers. Did you like our superhero video? What kind of superpowers do you dream about having? Tell us in the comments. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you don't miss the continuation of our version of X-Men on Troom Troom Wow!